Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the 19th episode of our Haradrim campaign, Dirich Toro War, Divide and Conquer. And we are starting off this episode right away with uh, quite an important siege battle, as we are attacked at Kizilkum by Virhor and his band of merry Variags. Now, we are outnumbered 3 to 1, which is not fantastic. By all means, uh, we're going to lose this battle, but we're going to give it our all, because even in... The face of certain death and certain loss, we should still flip him the middle finger and just take down as many of these pricks as we can. I don't I don't say it's impossible to win, but it's gonna be very, very difficult. And if Kizilkum falls, then that's not a good sign for the uh, the continuing war against Khan, because then I'll need to pull some support from Krukmaur and Korondai, which is not impossible, mind you, but yeah, we wanna do our best to hold Kizilkum, so let's jump in straight away. We shall all find a way to an honorable victory! Okie dokie doo. So the plan is very much to try and hold the walls as much as possible. Um, they have a lot of horses that can't go on walls. So if I just stick all my troops on walls then I'll never have to face them really. Um, unless of course they bum rush the town square, which is possible. And I need to keep my horses of course on the ground as well, that's unavoidable. So we'll just keep them in the far back. There we go. Uh, you know, if need be, we will have to move them in. But everyone else, everyone that's not a horse, which I will group separately for now, will need to take place on the wall, except for the ballista, of course, they can't go on the wall as well. That's rather unfortunate. Um, let's see here. I could use my ballista to try and shoot down the siege tower. If I could plop it somewhere around here, that might work. We'll have to shove them in a bit. If anything, I would love to be able to shoot down that ram, but that's not going to be possible at all, unless I light it on fire. If I get incredibly lucky, then maybe. Arches are going to be quite important. Um, pop some here. Yeah, I'm not going to put anyone down, I think. I think I'm going to put everyone up. So we're going to abuse the towers as much as we can. Um, Faroon mercenaries could consider plopping you on the ground. No, no, no one will be on the ground. Everyone will be in the sky. Anyone else? Drawman Hunters. Mm. Can I plop you in the middle there? No, but I'll plop you here. Turn off your fire at will. It's gonna be a painful fight, mate. So is it only the cavalry that's on the town square then? Yes. And of course the ballista down as well. Ballista, move up. You need to shoot down that siege tower. Because at that point, they can only really get up from the ladders, well, of course, and from the towers once they get a foothold. want to avoid that as much as possible. This one poor guy. <laughs> Imagine being that guy. Literally the first to die in a very painful death attack. Save your ammo for now, because you're not really firing in a nice angle. Fire on the Axemen, because I don't think they have shields. Nope, they don't. A fine target. Come on, Ballista, you need to hurry it up, mate. It's already gonna be a bit awkward to get you moving. I hate Ballista. Like, they just move in the most awkward manner. Like, come on, how difficult is it to just push here? And I know I should not spam orders, because then they're gonna act even more silly. The enemy have at I the just walls. get so upset. Repel the invaders. Right, let's swap Send them guys. back whence they came. Okay. Mm, that's fine. Oh, it's gonna be such a tough fight. Those cursed vipers are at our gates with their ram. Let's see. We're gonna hit our own tower, aren't we? Has reached our walls with their siege tower. Let's push a bit closer. They find only death here. But they might try. Uh. See, part of me may be considered putting some troops down here and having the ballista fire in that block, but I don't think that would work. We know how hard the calf shoves their way through us sometimes, right? We don't want to go through that. This angle could work, but it will be prickly. That's all I can say about that. Need to hurry a bit up, the ballista. And it's fine if they take the siege tower, it's not that bad of a deal. Not that bad of a deal, not that big of a deal. Glorious shots. 
I love you, Ballista, even if you hit my own tower. We actually crispified some of those guys that are up there. Alright, boys. Need to hurry it up with the Ballista now. Never lucky. We could have lit it on fire. I'm just happy these shots are working out. 47. Come on, need to hurry it up. 62. Nice shots. Oh! The enemy have the wars. They're coming in. Them back. Trying to take. Like, sending in everything they got. Hitting our own tower, not ideal. 93. One more shot, one more shot. Hurry, hurry, hurry. They're sending in horses to stop us. Oh! Uh. One shot! One shot at glory! Yes! <laughs> nice. That was good. That was very good. There's gonna be a massacre on the town square. We will very much lose our general, that's for damn sure. Now keep firing in this blob. 9% for 23%. That's good. Hold the walls. Don't go down. It's gonna be a massacre either way. Alright, you, Trollman Hunters. I saved your ammo, now lob it at that general. Eat this, you bastard! Ah, my ballistic crew is dead. Come on. Throw! What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Now is not the time to be silly, game. You're on guard mode. I just put you on fire at will, but I don't want you to fire at will. Come on, yeah, you guys screw me over again. You have a clear shot. There we go, nice. I mean, we'd have to be incredibly lucky to kill that general, but it's the best shot we have at winning. Alright, we go for the town square, boys. Nice throws. See, they are dying. I think that's their general. That's not looking too hard for him. 22% for 35. My general is in deep shit. That's the only shot we have. Although, maybe pull back my general. I don't want him to die just yet. We need his morale. Oh, he's down to three. Well, now my trollman hunters need to prioritize the actual general guy. He's taking a beating, mind you. Not looking too healthy. How is he still alive? He took a full volley of javelins there. He must have a lot of hit points. Come on, die. God damn. They'll run out of ammo eventually. Okay, my cab is screwed. Oh my god, there's so many. I'm just worried that if my cab, my general dies, then these guys might break. Which I want to avoid as much as possible. And again, I really also want to break their troops by killing their general, but apparently he's immortal. Because no matter how much shit I send his way, there's still another bodyguard somewhere. Oh, he's in there. Okay. Well, that's alright. Yep. My general dies super fast, and their general <laughs> just has a million hit points. Come on, don't break. And how about we hug the tower here? Less chance of you getting shot. This was always going to be a desperate defense. Kill that general. 12 minutes for the town squared. Come on, that general. It's Sorry, but that's ridiculous. Man took a million javelins. Oh. God damn, finally. No, he's just going to sit on the town squared, isn't he? We killed the general. Like, I'm happy with that already. That's a strong start. We just need to keep a close eye on the timer. Just kill as many as we can before I resort to shoving troops on the town square. I think I'll get these Faru mercenaries down. 
Kill as many of that infantry, and then send in units that counter cavalry. Rely on the towers. Nine minutes, that's plenty. Well, unless he's gonna block me, of course. You can win this. You're skilled against mounts and you have support of the towers. Good. Shit, I'm gonna run out of time. Alright, send them down. I need more troops to go to the town. I don't want to lose because of time. That would be incredibly lame. He's sending out a lot. He's killing me, but he's losing a lot of men for it. 44 for 66. That's good. Morale is a problem on both sides. And I'm starting to get worried about this timer here. I shouldn't yet, though. Uh, you guys... Take that right side. Come on, guys. You guys are doing fantastic. But we need to hurry it up a bit. There's just too many of them to chew through. Come on, come on, come on. Let's take this right side. The AI is playing rather smart, I must admit. Okay, but the infantry has been neutralized, so let's send in everyone from the walls now. No, 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 I won't taste jack shit. Six minutes. Come on. See, he's smart. He's sending out troops to, like, block me from reaching the town square. I've never seen the AI play that smart. I'm actually somewhat impressed. I think I'm going to lose because of the timer. There's just too many. Unless... Go for a shield wall. I just need to touch the town square. Or he needs to get off it. He might get off it. He might get off it. He's trying to get off it. There's only a couple guys still standing on it. Come on. Go for a good old shield wall. Move your... Oh, I still got some Nomad Axeman. That's problematic. How is their morale not a problem? Come on! The enemy is no longer yes, in yes, yes! Now we no longer need to rush. The timer has been reset. He walked off it. Far from it. But with the support of the towers, I think we have a shot. Imagine if we win this, guys. That would be huge. I mean, it's probably just delaying the inevitable, but it buys us a lot of time. And money, because Kizilkum is a wealthy settlement. That's fine, we got another 12 minutes. But those Nomad Axemen might become problematic. So those guys, I prefer to fight close to the towers. If we fight them head on, we definitely need the support of many towers. Okay. Those guys are screwed. God bless the towers. So whichever side the Nomad Axemen push through, yep. Gotta make sure we have towers just going ham. Yep, he's coming in and he's on the fire. Glorious. He's wavering and he's gonna get surrounded by a lot of troops. Yeah, this is the end for you, my friend. And this uh, Ah, we got him, boys! Wow. What a fight, what a defense. That was epic. Really enjoyed that. We lost a lot of troops, but we live to fight another day. Our general is dead, but that was unavoidable. This is the most crushing victory. Oh yeah, did we got a ballista back? We did. Nice. And our foes in sand. Very nice. Public order might be an issue without our general, but we'll see. That's uh, <laughs> a different problem for a different time. All right. No. Bye bye. Oh god. Well. That's why we need to bring in the reinforcements. It is a siege. We'll just try to bleed them as much as possible. But we're lowering the troops, the enemy troops, where we want them. The ring suddenly is at uh, Thorin's Halls. Wasn't he like in Ladris? Uh, not in Ladris. Uh, Tol Amroth last time. Rest in peace, Talib. Let's rename the settlement after him. Oh, how did you spell? Ah, whatever. Talib. I think that was like a accent on there. Talib's rest. Uh, like that, right? Talib's rest. Nice. 
Let's repair the wall, retrain whatever troops we can retrain. Oh, and I'm getting an extra ballista. Invest in that catapult. Uh, and I'd need some infantry badly. Need to get rid of Warlord Nazaruddin. Okay, there is another army on the move, is there not? No, where did that other army go? There's an army that's gone missing. Right, um, I should be able to move out everyone if Cotton goes to Korondash. 70%, that's enough. And then our Shardafar can move out. Uh, I'll leave behind like... We won't be able to reach Siakan in time, but that's okay actually. Because we'll be able to lay siege to Siakan. And then they'll be stuck inside this element. We don't have to fight them on the open field. All things good. And then the Rotus to Lutzakan is looking quite ripe. But yes, a lot of people have been mentioning, because I was quite aggressive against Dol Amroth. I was already proclaiming that we'd march straight over the Anduin and walk into their lands. We're not going to do that just yet. Uh, as a lot of people have said, we need to prioritize Khan first. So um, I think the war against Dol Amroth, we want to take Baradhan, we want to take Tirithrid. Um, if Tirithor is in the hands of Mordor, that's fine. Because that means I only need to worry about Baradhan and possibly Gobal Tolfulus. Then we'll take a bit of a breather, um, try to build up our settlements, try to build up our forces as well. Um, and prioritize getting rid of Khant before we cross the Anduin. We need to make sure we have strong armies, etc. Et so, yeah, don't worry. We're not going to go get ourselves in a situation we can't recover from. Oh my god, there's so many of them. So, yeah. Definitely need more troops, so if I can retrain or get new troops, then do so. Taludba should be able to get some men. The men I'm training now will very much uh, serve to be sent towards the Khan front. However, I also want to invest in some economy, some buildings, you know, all that jazz. And Karagmir, let's start with a meeting hall so this guy gets free upkeep. Those guys, you go straight to Korondai. It'll take a while, but that's okay. Um, you guys as well. I'll send them together, even though sending the calves separately would be quicker. So let's do that. Change my mind, and then you guys. Uh, so if um, this guy, Warlord Nazaruddin, tries and take Rukmawar, and we can beat him in a siege, that frees up that army, and they can push towards... Amukand, I'd say. I know I should try and take all the last elements at the same time, but that's just not going to happen. And also, I don't want to be accused of cheesing or anything like that. So, no. I'm on our I'll get a port there. They can't block all my ports at the same time, right? Getting a stable there. Yeah, that's good. And then Umara and the Mumakil, they can go lay siege to Tirithraid. Build some siege equipment there. They want to sally out, then go ahead. So they'll be screwed. Teridoros is safe in the hands of Mordor. Ah, Captain Minder. He might cockblock me if I go for Baradhan. So I guess we'll wait a little bit to see what he goes off to. What I could do is just send Umara away. Because that's enough troops to take Tirithrit, and then Umara can join this army. And if these guys move out, then boom, boom, go the Mumakil, right? I guess we'll wait and see. Let's see, I can't, see, I can't, see. I missed that. Oh no, I didn't miss that. I will not waste words on you. The camels, poor camels. They tried. Uh, okay, look at the map, by the way, how nice and chunky our territory is. I love it. I mean, it's not going to be chunky for too much longer. And yes, we'll get some more vision in these lands as well, though it doesn't matter all that much, especially once I capture these territories. I really only need vision on the boards, it doesn't matter that I can't see what's happening here. Because, spoiler alert, ain't anything happening over there. But for those of you who feel better, pop down a watch tower. Nice. Vision. Uh, Imlet Karnan could do it some extra vision. Can we cross the river? Yeah. See how far we can get while still being able to return. A watch here. There we go. Nice. Uh, okay, that's another end turn then. Get rid of that. For those of you who missed it, I have started streaming again. I've been playing Pillars of Eternity, which is a fun kind of Western isometric RPG game. 
It's quite similar to Baldur's Gate, the old ones. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. I've already streamed once, and I think by the time this video goes live, I'll have streamed a second time. Want to make sure to keep up a really tight schedule, but well, you all know me, right? <laughs> we'll see how that fares. All right, Khan, attack me at here, Khan. Maybe I'll just auto resolve it. There's no point. Although, if I play it a bit smart, I could try and get some kills with towers, but ah, uh, it's a waste of time, is it not? I'd rather spend whatever short time I have per episode, which is like an hour, which is not nothing, but I'd rather spend it to uh, achieve things that are actually worth the damn instead of getting four or five more kills than if I just auto resolve it. Yeah, we're gonna rely on the reinforcements anyway, so doesn't matter much. Or they'll wait another turn. I doubt they'll wait two turns, though. And I also kind of don't want to fight them on the open field anyway, so... I prefer you just take it now. Yep. Oh, I do get two defenders, though. Hmm. That actually kind of changes things a little bit. Because this is a really shoddy force, to be fair. You know what? I'm actually going to fight it now. I didn't take into account those two defenders, and they're actually... I'm not going to say they're going to make a big difference, but it's not impossible to win this, I think, if I play my cards right. At the very least, we can do a lot more damage than an auto resolve will, so by all means, I'll eat my words and try and defend it anyway. Alright, ah, oh, never mind. These walls suck. I thought they were manly walls, walls I could stand on, but no. They are little silly walls. Oh, whatever. Um... I'm just gonna bottleneck the town squared. In terms of getting kills, that's probably the best horse of action. No. Just make like a killing formation. And the camels, you just hold the towers. Or just light all that rams on fire. Will that activate that tower? Oh, that tower. I think they're on. Retirement. Oh, no, there we go. Look at that, we've already killed a percent. Not sure where they're going. You're not allowed to ram down that gate. That's illegal. Not with rams! Play that six times speed, though. Um, come on, camels, hurry. News comes unlooked for. The enemy have taken our walls. Camels, hurry! Ah! Oh, they're gonna shoot me. Hmm. That's unfortunate. All right, they rushed in their step of tribesmen. Is that their general? Wait, is that their general? No. Their general is likely to be a cab unit. If we kill their general early on, then maybe we'll stand a chance. Oh crap. That's bad. How did they. Oh no, they just walked around. Well. They're rushing in their horses and. Oh, we killed our general, look at that. Well, their captain, really. Did they just rush in their cow? Yeah, look, we got a route there. It's a good way to kill some horses. Which will make the next fight a bit easier. That's all we're trying to achieve, really. Half our Making remains. sure that the next fight is a bit easier. Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. We must turn the wind of battle, or we will taste ashes instead of victory. Camels scared horses, right? Why is not everyone routing? <laughs> uh, if only I had a mumma kill. Our general lies dead. No, Pray our warriors it's fine. Hearts fill with we have infinite morale on the town square. Despair. See, we killed a third of. I mean, they'll heal a chunk, but if I auto resolved it, there's no way I would have killed a third. Higher. Even with the healing, that's probably like 20% that we've killed. No way I could have achieved that with another resolve. And it didn't even do anything special, it didn't even cost me that much time. Yeah, we got rid of a lot of their uh, horsemen. I think the Marauders and their Nomad horsemen got screwed, so... Yeah, pretty good. I'll take it. It's gonna make the next fight quite a bit easier. So let's see, 40% will probably heal back to like 30 or something with that Captain dead. Although this is the AI and they love to cheat. 33. Okay. Do not visit again for some Still, that's one third, 538 less guys that we need to worry about. I will take that. That's quite okay. Yeah, that's okay. 
not the worst. Come on then. Take it, make yourself at home for a while. Taking of the head of the Oh, Edoras has fallen. Ah, interesting. Is Isengard finally doing something useful? The mountain orcs have also uh are doing quite well. Good for them. Maybe they've taken Edoras then. <laughs> Alright, Arshardafa. Pop down some watchtowers along the way, might as well if we're here. I could have plopped them down along the road. Still can. There we have it. Vision on the road is the most important part anyway. Uh, okay, let's keep moving. And see Khan will be right for the taking. Make sure there's no reinforcements in sight. No. Good. Okay, so now Shariar wants to have a go at Talib's rest. We do have two ballistae this time around. So that promises some fun times. We can retrain them. Let's see, tense next available unit one. That's a real shame. Now that's Khan Shaglai. They could go for Korondai now, because technically be their border is again. I should be able to take Sia Khan before that happens. Um, now yeah, keep the serve? troops going. Need more troops. Yep, you as well. Uh, Korondai. Talutba. Get those troops moving. Nice. It's a decent chunk of lads. Roads are being finished there. Good, good, good. Estala also got some troops ready to go. Nice quality units. Uh, we finished some buildings too. Let's see. Finabel, Estala, they got two blacksmiths. Imlet Khanan got roads. Okay, nice. Lots of money. Uh, and Talib's rest. Yeah, we made sure to rebuild the walls there. Quite important. Okay, I got a little bit of cash money left, but not a whole lot. Matt is quite wealthy. You can also get mines in, and they're not too bad, but it's too expensive for now. Mm, Ardumir is also quite wealthy. These are quite good mines, so I think I'll invest in the Master Mason's Hall with hope that we can get those mines up and running later on. Orders. Yeah, I'm gonna need more ships than that. Okay, tier yes, 8. Do I wait? They're gonna have ballista towers. And I have the one ballista. Don't have that's enough. Let those reinforcements As move towards Paradhan. No, kinda, yes. Not really. So I could attack Telechrist and then these guys would sally out. Or I just wait for the Muma kill. I think I'll wait for the Mumako. So we'll do this battle first. Should be able to get rid of their siege to Ballista Towers rather easily. And then after this battle, I won't even use Umar, I think. But then he can move and help uh, Abrazir take Paradhan. That's going to be where the main bulk of our defenses will go anyway. So let's save. And we need to be a bit careful, but if we just use our troops in a somewhat clever manner, we should be alright. Tidings such as these, does victory spring forth? Okay, I like your optimism, an answer, man. Uh, I mean, the Mumma Kill are going to be quite useless in this fight unless they do a brief sally out. Those towers look dangerous. One would almost start to consider investing in some catapults. What's the best path? Because there's a lot of towers here. One, two, three, four that I'd need to take down. Then again, I don't really need to worry about gates. In fact, maybe this path is clearer. I could go take down this tower and this tower. I mean, I perhaps have to take down these towers as well, but if I just funnel everyone on towers, then that's not a problem. Or on ladders, I don't have towers. So let's, let's just do that then. Plop everyone here. I think that's an, an easier path. Get those ladders ready. Take down as many towers as we can. Sending the trollmen on the towers, or on the ladders, sorry, because they're best equipped for it. And if they pull back, I can always ram down that gate. And I'll actually put like one Hrondor mercenary unit with the ram here. Either they're gonna commit troops here that are not fighting with the rest, or they're gonna have to. 
defend from that side as well, because then I can still pull a sneaky on them. That probably won't be necessary, but still. Okay, make sure everyone's in a bit of a okay position, even if we won't send them in like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, see, we actually forced them to commit some troops to the other side. Alright. Quite a lot of troops, actually. Okay, I hope these towers aren't like the kind that just don't break. Let's see. Okay, never mind. They are rather weak. Made of papier mache. Should be able to take down most of the towers, actually. The thing is, they're quite bulky towers as well, so rather easy to hit. Still got some ammo left. I think I'd rather prioritize that one. Oh, someone's firing on me. Who is it? Oh, some art. Ithilian Rangers. Ah, pricks. Let's already go for this section here. Those guys have javelins, but no. We got double hit points, so we'll just have to tank one, one hit point worth of damage. those ladders and you actually can send you in as well you go wide and you guys go there oh that hurts our ladders have reached the walls may our brave lions strike these curs who hide behind them brave lions all right i'm gonna send in my mumma kill because they can actually fire it over the walls and just for safety Pop down this tower as well. Alright, send in the lads. <laughs> Uma kill, you so silly. Victory is well within our grasp. In time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. Our ladders have reached the walls. May our brave lions strike these curs who hide behind them. All right, ladders, scale the walls. Look at that. Haradrim forces scaling Andorian walls. That's how this campaign is supposed to go. Ashari blades, full on Assassin's Creed. Come on, Altair. Take down that tower just for safe measure. Alright, no, surround those pricks. Get them, get them, get them. I wonder how strong those Ashari are on walls. Some troops do really well on walls, others not so much. These guys seem to be doing quite well. They slaughter those uh, Nimrodal Mariners with ease. In come the trollmen. Ah. Turn in the hunters. Nice, that tower is down. Got a wee bit of ammo left. And I think I may want to try and destroy this section of wall. Perhaps I can squeeze in a Mooma kill. I don't know. Yeah, those Hashari blades are performing quite well. Let's get them on the wall. 2% for 16%. Those pikemen up there. Their morale is trash. Imagine if I can just send in a Mooma kill on the town square and <laughs> just send them in to go ham. How much damage is that wall taking? 8%. Hmm. That's gonna cut it a bit close. I just love how I can have my Mooma kill. I got like mobile archery towers that actually go over the walls. Like, that's so cool. Right, those shadows, I can have a use for them. I'm really impressed by the Hashari blades on walls, like, proper good job. Alright, that wall isn't going to go down, I'd rather have you prioritize that tower then. That's just a higher chance of achieving something. Um, save your ammo for now. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Look at their swords, I never really paid much attention to them. They look brutal. If the cut doesn't kill you, the infection surely will. 
the last number of the Mariner. He screams worth four. Let's go silence those Black Root Veil pricks. Oh, we got some coastal wardens. Make sure to shoot them, actually. Those guys are assholes. Thirty-four. Fifty. Come on. Two more shots. And there we go. I guess I could use the last of my ammo. Although that's a wall I'll have to fix later on. Poison arrows. Yeah, see a good ammo now. 44, yeah, we won't have enough ammo for it, not even close. It's fine, you know. Well, it's destroyed enough that we can't walk over it anymore, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I don't think it is, actually. But I have a plan. Wouldn't be the easy machine without a plan. Yeah, we got some shadows here. Is that range? No, that's too optimistic. So let's get the pikemen. Send them down on the ground. Get the archers on the walls. Get these troops down. Good, good, yes. Alright. They are still holding part of this wall as well. We got some troops committed to it. Just in case the Surrender mercenaries go in. I won't send them in. Unless, of course, they pull back. In which case, yes, I'll send them in. But I doubt that's going to be the case. Whatever. We can move in a bit closer if you so desire. Just don't get javelin by them. That's just calf, right? Some pikes, some calf. Okay. See, we'll send the archers along. We'll plop the pikes here. And then we'll have the archers along like that. It's gonna be glorious. And I'll just shoot them. That's all I need to do. Shoot them. Maybe even throw some javelins that way. Although only when I tell you to. Alright, come on boys. Run, run, run. As fast as you can. Four. Can't elephants tear down gates? I thought they could. No, they can't. I guess that's a, a room one feature. Look at these guys. Immortal. Or just positioned right. Alright, come on, out of my troops. You, fight away. Fight on those pike boys. Eat my poison, bitch. Nice. It's very observant. Uh, need to be wary of this road here. Pop down some trolls. Troll men. Troll men. Sorry. I think calling a troll man a troll is kind of racist, but hey. No one's perfect. Okay. Where are those southern archers? Oh, come on, guys. It says you're moving, but you're really not. Why are they doing a backward shuffle? If I tell them to stop... Look at that! <laughs> There's some kind of penguin walk. I don't know how to feel about this. Come on, archer. Siege battles are always a bit wonky plonky. Come on. You dumbasses. Slowly but surely. Shucks. Four fights with horns made of clay. Oh, we are, are winning back. the battle. Come on, come on, come on. Spears of Harad. Sending in the Ambrothian squires. Let's put an end to that. Nice. Pikes are suffering. Spears of Harad. Knowingly enough. 
Are their pikes better than my pikes? I can't. No. Are they? 458. 4411. So they are better, because who the fuck cares about a charge bonus on a pike? If you are charging your pikes, you are not using them right. Time for the flank though. Those Ashari Blades are quite nice. I always underestimate Ashari Blades because they're very weak to calf charges. So whenever I play against the unit, or when I play against Harad and the use Ashari Blades, I can always dispatch them rather easily, but... Oh crap. Just as I say that they calf charge me. But their high attack just means they really dish out damage quite quickly and can take down quite strong units. I mean, they'll die as well because their defense is low, but... In certain scenarios, you really just want to kill an enemy quickly, and then those Hashari are really, really, really nice. They won't beat those Royal Swan Guard. I'm actually kind of throwing them away, which is a bit silly. Let's just pull them back, so I can still maybe retrain them at some point. Yeah, uh, take me prisoner, that's fine. No, 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 no. Blank. That is your only task. Our men have taken control of the city. All right, Rose One Guard. Can I please introduce you to my javelin? I think you'll like him. <laughs> That'll never get tiring. And then run them in, and they're actually skill against mounts, so. Should be rather easy. Victory is well within our grasp. I got some decent defensive stats to boost, and the pikes with assistance. Well, Swan got are always a pain in the ass to kill, but if it bleeds, we can kill it, and they're all bleeding at this point. Skilled against mounts just isn't what it's used to be. Are you still standing there? Oh, some pike boys and some Lamanon clans. Okay, well, that's a unit. Shoot them in the back. I was impressed by how tanky those pikemen are against Archer Fire. Like, by all means, they should be dropping dead like super easily, and they're just not. I mean, I can happily wait six minutes on six times speed. That's only two minutes. One minute. I'm an idiot. That's only one minute. <laughs> six divided by six is two, apparently, to Izzy Math. <laughs> I mean, I was never good at math, so you know, you'll have to forgive me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Still, pretty clean win. All in all. Don't think our casualties are that bad. 70%. We'll heal some. Um, I mean, I'd love to still take Barad Hard in this episode, but I think that's a bit too optimistic. We'll see. We still have time, to be fair. This battle took a while because it's a big siege battle, but... I think it's the first time we take Tirethrid, right? Mordor held it at some point, but... I don't think we've held it in the past, so... We've almost pushed Dol Amroth out of Harondor, and it only took us a hundred and something turns. Then considering the start of this campaign, I say we have bounced back rather well. And there we have it. Great victories are like uh, 15%. Sweet I mean, that's quite good for an offensive siege fight. Lumber Kill managed to get 28 kills. Well, maybe some extra experience or something. Nice. And there we have it. Telethreed is mine! We have prevailed. Oh, nice. They already plopped down some watchtowers for us. And if uh, Captain Maindir wants to have a go, that's fine. Yes, but I'd love to move Umar out. And we should be able to meet in the middle, yeah. So Umara will move out to assist at Barad Han. Then Abrazir can move in. And they'll be fighting there soon. The last bastion of Dol Amroth on mainland Harondor. If they want to try and have a go at Tirethre, that's fine. Just need to repair the walls and then I'll be ready to, uh, to assist you. Uh, let's get some culture right away. Probably no culture of my... a uh, little bit. 
Um, right, a shard of fire, you take into your Khan. Uh, they want to try and have a go at Talib's rest, which will be problematic, even if the catapult is finished in time, which it won't be. And even with the extra ballista, we will have to give it our all. There will be much honor Please fight me at Kruk Maur, I would actually really appreciate it. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's just double check. See, I got some troops at Imlad Khan and they're currently not doing anything, so... Perhaps worth selling, uh, selling, sending them to Chalkar and then moving them upwards towards Talib's rest. But now though, I think we can rest easy. He's pulling back some of his ships as well, nice. Finally. Uh, right, you're actually a good husband. Tarmiriel. Where is that? Oh, that's in Finabel. Wonderful. I'm gonna send you to... Towards Kant, because I'm gonna need governors. I already have plenty of dudes up here in Tirathrate. Khaldun, he can hold Tirathrate. Yes, then oh. Abrazir can hold Baradhar, and we can send Umara wherever we need him. I'm not gonna send him all the way to Khand, I think. By the time he'll arrive, the battles will be done. I'd rather have him in the field here. I know, I know. Having a Muma killed at Khand would be welcome, but it's just gonna take too long, I think. Okay, no, that's fine. That is fine. I think that's the best way that we can deal with that big army. And maybe they'll pull back still once I take Baradhan, you know. Or they'll try and push for Baradhan, that could also be uh, be the case, we'll see. It'll depend on uh, if the one smaller army is still stationed outside of Baradhan. That's our one shot of us taking Baradhan in one turn. If not, they'll probably do the siege for Tira Threaten. I mean, I'm feeling quite secure in that. He's trying to push for Amunar Shardafa again as well, which is surprising. <laughs> the aggressiveness of Dol Amroth knows no bounds, but neither does the skill of my men. Alright, besiege me at Talib's rest, yeah. Master Merchants, ah, now this I like. I'm too poor to afford it, but keep offering me that and I will accept it. Okay, the camels have arrived. Noble Let us lay siege to Siak Khan. I think they pulled out some troops, so is that just because we hit them so hard? This will be an honorable battle. Okay. Siege to the My ears are yours. Unseen. Ah, oh, look at all this! There's so many of them! You in Still some Orokani being trained as well. You. You in okay, we'll do our best there. Um, Tirathreit. I mean... Coward. Go ahead and try. Even if these troops aren't all that great, we have defenders advantage and we have ballista towers. I love how there's just a mismatch of units and buildings. Merchants, guild, that's quite nice. All these things, they actually do something for me? I think they do, nice. Okay, cool. Um, right, there is a chance, but they'll probably pull back. We close for battle. Your faith and courage have triumphed! They all pulled back in Baradhan, I guess. So let's just stay out there. Um, we shall endure outside their walls. I'd love to have a ballista tower, actually. Or, uh, not a ballista tower, a ballista. Then again, they only have three units. So if I just attack from multiple sides, they can't block all access. So. Alright, uh, you can try and go for Amunar Shadify, we'll get the Fedness soon. And Karagmir got the meeting hall, good. Do I need culture? No, culture is good enough. Let's start with some roads. Doesn't matter if we can mine resources at Ankaragmir if we can't ship them to where we need them. Taludbar got roads finished, nice. And Gobble Merlon got a stables done. Okay. Get some extra pikes, they'll come in handy. Krukmaur, yeah. Make sure not to send any troops through the Krukmaur, that's just a bit too risky. Send them all to Karandai. Okay, keep those guys moving straight away. <laughs> I'd love to take Siakan straight away, but that's just not happening. I just wish he'd attack me. <laughs> okay, uh, anything else? Kruk Maur, bunch of retraining. Terethri, bunch of retraining. Good, good, good. 
Khan is still giving me some grief, but slowly but surely we're finishing them off. And meanwhile, the troops at Krukmaur have almost been fully retrained. So as soon as we have an opportunity, yes, we can actually make a nice serve. difference. And look at that, actually got a decent amount of units moving in for reinforcements. That'll matter. Uh, I think we just need to press the end turn and just accept what's coming our way. I'd love to get that Master Merchant's Guild. Oh right, I also have the troops from Ankaragmir coming over. I forgot about them. That's some Ballista as well, that shall come in handy. Oh, blocking my ports. I need more ships to deal with that. Because my ports bring in quite a bit of money, so I'd rather not have you block them all the time. Thank you very much. See, I'm not going to wait with Baradhan. As risky as it'll be, I don't want them to take them on Ashardafa, and they're still waiting at Terethrate, so, you know, if they want to bug it off, then that's perfectly fine. Which I think they will do once we take Baradhan. At the very least, they'll bug it off from Ashardafa, because they no longer border it, so. But I think Khand will attack me first, and then everything else will have to wait for the next episode. Talib's rest. I don't know. We pulled off a miracle once, but that was a very specific situation. We do have double ballista now, so, you know, if I can pin him and just pew 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 pew. That's a lot of horses again, not a lot of infantry. So, I don't know. We can try, we can try. Let's try, let's, let's just do our best, we'll see. Losing Talib's rest would be annoying, not the worst, but annoying. Yeah, we're gonna give it our all. It's a very good general, by the way, as well. A master strategist. Hmm. Alrighty. Start the deployment once again. We've been here a couple times now. So I'm thinking moving the ballista. Actually, I could position my ballista in multiple angles. But I think we'll do it like that. We can hit the siege tower from here. And then I think the plan is to try and hold them here in the center with the ballista just going ham. I'm very much aware that he'll try to force through his calf, so I want to put my pikemen somewhat in the back. Maybe these guys as well. And hopefully my ballista can fire somewhat over them, or if need be, through them. <laughs> the sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay. Um, I think I'll just move my Baroon Raiders outside and just be annoying. Is that everyone in position? Afraid so. Alright, be annoying. Alright, those are Nomad Warriors, so we want to make sure that we hit them when they're actually on the tower, because that's their strongest infantry unit that they brought. So just be annoying. If anything, charge the ram. That'll be the most hopeful. There we go, nice. That puts a hamper on that. Do it again. Oh, I already wasted my javelins. That's kind of dumb. All right, let's give him one volley. The Repel the invaders. Send them back whence they came. And there we go. They're done. Watches. Okay. I'm gonna try and get on my wall. That's fine. Ballista. Has reached our walls. Part of me oh, already regret. I should have put my ballista here. That would have been a much better angle, I think. It says you're fighting. Oh, there we go. First shot. Be a good one. Nice. Oh, no, that's a bit too soon. Although some of them are still trying to climb on it. Great one. Those cursed yeah. vipers could have been worse. We actually got lucky there. Ram. Wish we could have killed more of them. but They're still sending troops on the siege tower. What the hell? There we go. Have gained him nothing. 
Oh, they can't even certain death. Okay, I'm gonna try and push one ballistic closer. The nice thing is I got an extra one in reserve, so if it does some silly things, then we still have the reserve. Okay, yeah, those guys are screwed. It's a damn execution up here. Oh, the now those Nomad Warriors are coming up there, that's perfect. Perfect. Stay there, they're gonna run in the calf, we're just gonna go pepper them. Keep them in place. Whoever's climbing up on those walls is screwed. Okay, Ballista, you're up. Do not let me down, please. Don't aim for those guys. They don't really matter much. They'll be taken care of. Alright, the Ballista is trying to do something. We'll see how it works out. We need the Ballista to do uh, some damage. Can't win without them. Yep, that's good. Again? Need a lot more than that. Yes, yes, good, good. More. Good shots. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Nice, half already dead. No lucky kill on their general just yet. Oh, he's off to the side here. I'm not gonna hit him. Power of Ballista. I love siege equipment in Total War games. Like it's just it's just so satisfying. Even if it doesn't get like the most kills. The kills they do get are just clean and pew, precision. Well not always precision, but ballista mostly precision. Okay. Still we need a lot more than that to win this fight, but it's a good start. Now it becomes a bit more problematic as they're shoving their troops through. Don't. It just takes one lucky shot to kill their general. Also, don't underestimate the kills that the towers are getting. Quite a few. Right, go deal with them. Nice. More. Need a lot more. If you can, fire on the Variac Noble Arches. Victory is well within our grasp. Okay. I'm Don't our push too hard. See this and lose heart. Spear. Stay on the ground. Oh uh, no, don't stay on the ground. Stay on the wall is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just saying the opposite. Nice shot. Not so nice shot. Come on, I know you got more in you. Nice. Where is that general? No, he's on this side. Won't get him, but that's okay. Oh, those pricks are throwing javelins at me. Let's surround them. I still a bit shorter, they'll make their way through. But most of their troops are dead, actually. So no matter how powerful they are, if, if they're dead, well they're dead. But I desperately need reinforcements. Because look, all my dudes are dead pretty much. Now I'm going to pull them back. Oh, they got surrounded. Oh no. Pull back to the safety of the tower. I'm just relying on my ballista crew at this point. Okay. Are you killing any? Oh, you are. Oh, you killed the general. Nice. So much for being the greatest commander Khan has ever seen, eh? And their morale is ass. Yeah! We did it, guys! That's twice we've won in Kizokum and against unbeatable, almost unbeatable odds. That's twice we've proven the game wrong.
Come, yeah. Let us drink of the most but I need more infantry. Fruit. Badly. Even if they're shitty ones, I just need someone to hold so my siege equipment can do the killing. But, next time we fight here, we should have a catapult, so that's going to be even nicer. Nice. Anyone else? Please, no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> need those reinforcements badly. Still, they're going to take... Uh, but I should be able to train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have at least someone to hold. No movement here, so we'll have to go and take Baradhan. Then. Did he actually pull in some reinforcements now? Oh, okay, it's actually going to make it interesting then. Um, right, we'll do that next episode, but so far I'd say we achieved quite a bit. I know we lost Tia Khan, but we're about to retake it with our army now moving to the front line, which is just nice. That these guys are hanging around, which is annoying because it kind of blocks me at Krukmaur, but it is what it is. We have a reinforcements moving in. Quite a few reinforcements. Um, so we should be able to continue our conquest of Khan territory quite quite rapidly after we take Sia Khan. Sure to push towards Surutza Khan with ease. Now Talib's rest will no doubt face another army that will try and take it, but it seems we've bought ourselves a bit of time. Reinforcements are on the way. Not many of them, but some. Uh, and besides that, Amunar Shadow is under siege, Terethrid is under siege, both sieges are worthless. Next episode we'll take Baradhan, and then all will be restored and everything will be well, and all of Harondor, most of Harondor, will be in our hands. And then these guys will F off, and perhaps even these guys, although I kind of want them to attack me to be fair. Uh, right, so yeah, that's going to be all for today, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, I thought it was pretty fun, and I hope to catch you all soon for episode number 20.